The 550-mile project by the Kodiak Kenai Cable Company is largely funded by the Alaska Aerospace Development Corporation, which operates the Kodiak Rocket Launch Complex. Not coincidentally, Narrow Cape is the first stop on Kodiak Island for the Danish cable ship Maersk Defender. Kodiak Island is now connected to the mainland by a fiber optic cable. Kodiak Kenai Cable Company's first connection between Seward and Narrow Cape was made over the weekend. Ike Eichard is the consultant overseeing the installation. He says the transit from Seward went smoothly, but they fell a bit behind schedule once they arrived at Narrow Cape. There was a little delay uh, for a number of things, not least among them the uh, vessel captain's concern with the uh, with the kelp. There are extensive kelp beds out at Narrow Cape, and one of the things that uh, he wanted to avoid was any danger to the dynamic positioning, the DP system on board the vessel. And the the fiber optic cable itself was specially manufactured for the Gulf of Alaska and Cook Inlet in France. Its armor shielding is thicker in areas of the seafloor that are rockier. The route has been very exactly determined between Seward and, and uh, Kodiak, all of the segments of the route. And we know where there's soft variable bottom. We know where the bottom is a little more questionable, that is uh, rocky and, and more difficult perhaps for burial. And in those cases, the cable has been up-armored additionally to provide additional protection in those areas. So the cable is, is constructed very specifically to match the requirements of the route between Seward and, and uh, Narrow Cape and Kodiak. And the cable ship will then adhere very closely to the uh, surveyed route so that it goes right exactly where it's supposed to go. From the launch facility, the ship will lay cable to Kodiak's Mill Bay, another 40 miles to the north. Then it will connect with the Kenai Peninsula again in Homer and lay undersea cable from there to Kenai and then on to Anchorage. Get it wise hot, these pictures, man. They cost some money. This boy's gonna be famous. Did you steal my bike, fool? <laughs> oh no, that's not my bike. I'm sorry. You take it. Just doesn't take, take very much after everybody sees his looks, man. Shit. Straight to Hollywood, baby. Yeah, man, it looked like you cut like 10 pieces and real fast, too. <laughs> Get it wise hot, these pictures, man. They cost some money. This boy's gonna be famous. Heavy storms bounding Narrow Cape apparently caused damage to one of the legs of the 600 mile cable where it comes ashore. The break in one of the two fiber optic cables near the Kodiak launch complex did not take the system down, however, as the signal was rerouted to the Kodiak City leg. If you woke up Wednesday morning and noticed your GCI cable modem internet was faster, you're not the only one. We had them call in their office this morning asking us what happened to the internet. Uh, they, they, so some of them weren't aware that we were cutting over the new fiber, and they're calling just to say, I, I, I don't understand what happened. I didn't increase my speed or pay any more money, but things are running a lot faster. The Kodiak Kenai Cable Company, a partnership of the Old Harbor and Uzinki Native Corporations, owns the fiber optic cable. So far, GCI is the only telecommunications carrier on the line. Everyone else is still on the satellite.